Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys eating my reptiles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my reptiles eating. I'm not going to eat my reptiles. Oh my god. What a way to start that. I'm leaving that in. Anyways, my reptiles are eating hornworms in this video. I will include a link below and on the screen here to some nutritional facts about hornworms. But as you can see, Roku here is just being a total ham for the camera. And he's the whole reason I decided to film this video because I fed him first. So anyways, I wanted to give some pet updates um, in the background of this watching my reptiles eat video because there's a few things that I have talked about on Instagram or on Twitter and I haven't talked about them on YouTube and so I feel like a good way to do that would be to show like entertaining footage while I talk about it because some of them it's like some pretty sad stuff. So first and foremost I want to talk about my bearded dragon Franklin who you guys will see towards the end of this video. Franklin back in December was diagnosed with bacterial gastroenteritis after a blood draw that showed he had a high white blood cell count. And the only reason I noticed anything was wrong in the first place is because he was having diarrhea and it just wasn't going away no matter what different types of food that I tried. So of course I took him to the vet and like I said, he was diagnosed with bacterial gastroenteritis. And one of the things my vet had said back in December is that this can be caused by a tumor. Um, it is called a gastrointestinal tumor, sorry. And one way that we can tell if he has that or not is to look at the glucose levels in his blood. And back in December, they were relatively normal. However, recently we have done another blood draw and a glucose test and it has showed that it went up uh, a score of 100. So it's not good that it's gone up. And it's not in tumor diagnostic range yet, but it is um, leaning that direction, unfortunately. The reason that I took him back to the vet after he finished his antibiotics, oh, and his diarrhea went away and everything. So the reason I took him to the vet this time around was because he was vomiting, which is like really bad in bearded dragons or in reptiles in general, you don't really see vomiting. And he did it on a Monday. He vomited his food from Sunday. And then on Tuesday, he kept his food down. Well, I mean, he ate on Tuesday and then Wednesday, he kept that food down. And then Thursday, he vomited his food from Wednesday. And so, of course, at that point, it was vet time. And my vet is really great and was able to get me in super fast. And then, like I said, his glucose readings had been higher. And he also lost, like, a considerable amount of weight between his previous appointment and then this most recent one. And so, it's just not looking good. It's definitely looking like we're in the realm of a tumor. And my vet was telling me that this... Uh, diagnosis in bearded dragons usually the uh, tumor removal is not successful and the bearded dragon doesn't live for more than a few days or a few weeks after the surgery and so it really just isn't something that is an option and yeah it's just really not great news um it's been a really hard time and i don't have anything official yet we are going to be doing a few more tests so that's why i've waited to make some sort of announcement but i just want to let everyone know what's going on because it's like, it, Franklin's a huge part of my life and this diagnosis is like weighing really heavily on me. And it's just, it's terrible. He's in good spirits. He's been keeping food down since the vet appointment. We started him on a liquid diet. And then after like four days of keeping down a liquid diet, um, I started introducing some greens. So we'll see how he does. Um, he hasn't thrown up since before his vet appointment, which is really great. And that would be almost a week now. So I'm just hoping that it continues to go in that positive direction. But ultimately, it is not going to be a good outcome. Like this is something that is going to continue to be a problem for Franklin. And so, yeah, I'm sorry to share that sad news with you. I have another bit of sad slash happy bittersweet news. Um, I have a leopard gecko who you guys will meet here in just a couple clips I think maybe you already met him. I don't know. I haven't been watching the screen. His name is Aegon. He is a white and yellow who was rehomed to me 
And when he was rehomed to me from the breeder, he had a little bit of, like, bloating in his abdomen when he came in, like, through shipping. I noticed it as soon as I opened the box. And I was like, huh, that's odd. Maybe he just, you know, has a really big poo or something. So I was like, let me just keep an eye on it. And then after two weeks, it had grown. His abdomen had grown. And I could see through his skin that there was fluid buildup in his abdomen. And so I took him to the vet, of course. Aegon had fluid drawn from his abdomen and he also released a long pee stream on my vet and I was like that's really interesting to me and I kind of thought this was going to be related to Benjen because Benjen from time to time when I handle him he does release a large stream of pee onto me which is not normal for a leopard gecko to do. So then about a month later I had to take Aegon back in to have more fluid drawn and this time around, not so much fluid came out of the abdomen, but the pee stream was a considerable amount again. And the vet actually weighed him before and after the fluid was drawn and the pee stream. And there was a five gram difference, which is a big amount for a juvenile gecko. So he just has an issue with fluid retention and retaining urine, basically. And so it's a congenital issue. He was born with it. We actually, well, I say we, but my vet looked at the fluid that was drawn from his body the first appointment, and there wasn't any proteins or any abnormalities. It was pretty much just water content. And so it just leads us to believe that he has like a congenital kidney problem um, that is going to be a lifelong issue, most likely. We can't take a blood draw from him yet because he's just too small for that. So I can't offer any sort of like analysis of like his blood levels, but that'll be something that we do in the future when he's a bit bigger. I have yet to introduce Aegon to this channel. In fact, this clip that you see right here is the very first time you guys have ever seen him here on YouTube, I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, he's a beautiful little boy. He's got a great appetite. He poops and he sheds well. The only thing is, you know, he's got that fluid retention that is going to be a lifelong problem most likely, and he'll just need me to help him purge his bladder, which basically means I just have to kind of make him uncomfortable to the point that he releases a large amount of pee on me. So it is a great time for both of us, um, but otherwise uh, he looks fine, like the outlook looks okay. And having already had Benjen have this issue, it's kind of given me some hope that he'll have like a long life, albeit he'll just have to, you know, have his bladder purged, but he'll have a long life and he'll do well, like that's my hope. The last thing I have to say is a positive update. I will be welcoming home an animal probably... I would say three weeks from now. I think that's probably when we can count on the weather to be optimal. Um, but this is, it's a big welcome home. It's not a leopard gecko. It's not a species that I've ever had before. I'm currently like getting a giant supply of all the things I'm going to need. And I'll do a video so you guys can look at the supplies and take a guess at the species. If you're on Patreon, don't spoil it for anyone in the comments. If you want to join Patreon, then you can do that and you'll find out, you know, what she is and what her name is and what she looks like. Um, but please don't spoil it for anybody else. You know, I do want it to be a surprise. But yeah, it's it's really exciting. And I'm just kind of waiting for the enclosure to come. And as soon as the enclosure comes, I'll be setting up for this new arrival. It's just, it's really nice. And hopefully this will be a situation in which I welcome an animal home and they don't have a unexpected health crisis on me. Because the last, like, I don't know, five species I've welcomed home have had like random health issues that I wasn't anticipating. And I just really like to not have that happen. So it'd be nice. She did go to the vet with her foster on Friday and it was a completely normal visit. Like she she was fine. Her exam was was good exam. So hopefully that means when she comes here, she's just going to be like the most beautiful, healthy, lovely little lady that I will not say what she is. Now, she was a little bit of a rescue. I will talk more about that at length. That's why she's with a foster right now. But I'll talk about that more at length like in a video where I introduce her um, and then share the organization that currently has her. But yes, I'm very, very excited. If you guys want more regular updates about my reptiles and amphibians and my rats and my dogs and myself, then Instagram and Twitter are the place to be for that because you know I can't post a video every single day just being like, oh, here's what's happening. But of course I can do that on Instagram stories or on Twitter. So if you guys ever feel like you might be missing out on information or something like that, please follow my social media. They are linked below. 
I thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions about Franklin, about Aegon, or about the uh, reptile I cannot reveal to you. I will answer some questions, but uh, I will not tell you what the species is. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And again, thank you for watching. Also, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like, all that good stuff. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!